the Echo Slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. Hello, Gamer Nom is back. So for today's video, we're going to help this noob reach second C using the Rumble Tool. But before that, guys, I made a Twitter account for this channel, Gamer Nom. In order for us to talk more or help you decide on what next fruit should I level up. So guys, please do follow it for future announcements and giveaways. Okay, so to start it off, we are gonna eat the fruit. Again, the rumble fruit. I know you've been requesting for this. I promise it, so here we go. So upon eating the fruit, we have the rumble dragon as a starter skill. So good thing this is a multi-target skill. So we can defeat mobs faster. There you go. And one more thing, this fruit is a Logia type of fruit which means if you reach a certain level, Logia effect, there you go, they cannot hit you except for those enemies that has Busuhaki. So again, keep that in mind, level and the enemy that you're facing. Okay, so when you reach level 10, you can now go to the jungle and start with the monkeys. So, lure 3 at a time, again, your Logia is in effect. So there will be no problems here. There you go. After just one quest, you will reach level 15. Okay. See that, guys? They cannot hit me. And I'm level 14. There you go. Okay. So defeat them. Again, with just one quest, level 15. With two quests, level 17. So I think you're ready to go to the next mob, which is the gorilla. You need to defeat eight. So lure four at a time. One, two, three, and four four and defeat them using your rumble dragon there you go the goal here is to reach level 20 and after reaching that level you can start defeating the gorilla king so he's easy to defeat just attack him dodge 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 or just stay on the high ground and defeat him no secret techniques to that just be patient because your damage is not yet that high there you go the goal here is to reach level 30 so he's hitting the ground he got jibated. Anyway, there you go. Level 3, stat check, 90 melee defense, 52 blocks fruit. Next island is the pirate village. We're gonna start here with the pirates. You need to defeat 8, right? So you're 4 at a time. Again, you need to defeat 8, right? So after you defeat them, defeat another set to finish one quest. The goal here is to reach level 40. Again, guys, 40. But before even reaching that level, we will be unlocking a skill. And that skill is the Lightning Dash. So it's like a Soru. There you go. Additional Soru. But no damage, guys. No damage. See that? Okay, again. When you reach level 40, you can start with the Brutes. So again, you need to defeat 10, right? So lure 5. At that time, there you go. 5. Defeat them and do it twice to level up. The goal to reach in this island is level 60, but before that guys, level 55, you can start defeating the mini boss in this island, Bobby the Clown. So let's reach that level, boom, 55, okay, so here it is, Bobby the Clown, there you go, at 55, you can start defeating him to make leveling up faster. Yeah, the only thing is you just need to dodge that slash, there you go, just go sideways and everything will be fine, okay? Again, we need to reach level 60 to go to our next island. So guys, stat check, 41 melee defense, blocks fruits 101. Now off to our next island, which is the desert. Desert island, so we're gonna start here with the desert bandits, you need to defeat 8. Same with the pirates, so just defeat 4 at a time. Okay, they're easy to defeat. There you go. Do it twice to level up. Again, the goal here is to reach level 75. There you go, and with that, we can now proceed to the Desert Officers. So you need to defeat 6 only, but I suggest you lure 4 for more experience, right? There you go, defeat them. Again, you need to defeat 6, right? The goal here is to reach level 105, and after that, you can now proceed to the Frozen Village. But before grinding, you need to buy the Gepo, the Soru, and the Buso. Yes, buy all of those. Gamer Nom, why again level 130? Because I want to start with the Yeti, the mini boss in this island. I want to boost my leveling up here. So I want to start in a good note by defeating the Yeti first. There you go. And after that, you can now go to the Snow Bandits. So you need to defeat 7. Lure 5 at a time, guys. More experience, better. There you go. Defeat them. 
and then wait for two to spawn defeat it to level up the goal here is to reach level 130 and every time you have a chance to defeat the yeti go for it okay so now moving on to our next island the marine forest so we're gonna start here with the vice admiral same technique with the yeti there you go defeat it first guys you can defeat the petty officers after this but i suggest you just do server hop Okay, check for a server that has the Vice Admiral and defeat it until you reach level 150. And by doing that, you will be unlocking your third skill, the Sky Thunder at Mastery 90. So here it is. Really looks cool, guys. But I really don't like it. So <laughs> comment it in the comment section how to use it properly. Again, defeat the Vice Admiral, server hub, stay away from the Petty Officers. And when you reach level 150, you can now go to your next island. And that island is the Skylands. Here you go. So we're gonna start here with the Sky Bandits. You need to defeat 7. You can lure 4 at a time. There you go. So there you need to defeat. Defeat 7 to level up. And the goal here is to reach level 175. After that, you can now proceed to the Dark Masters. Again, you need to defeat 8. So they're located here. Just lure 4. There you go. Use your skills. So by this time, you will be unlocking a new skill. Oops, you almost died there. So. Okay, so just defeat them. Again, goal here is to reach level 225. So speaking of the new skill, here it is, the Sky Beam at Mastery 160. This is one of my favorite skills. It really is cool and damage is really, really high. There you go. Again, goal is 225. And when we reach that, next island, we have the Coliseum. So we're gonna start here with the Toga Warriors. So you need to defeat seven, right? So lure four at a time. Here it is. One, two, three, and four. So after you defeat them, you just need to lure three again or four if you want for my experience. There you go. The goal here is to reach level 275. And after that, you can now proceed to your next target mob, which is the Gladiators. So here you go. You just need to lure four. One. Two, three, and four. Same with the Toga Warriors. Defeat them. Do it twice. And the goal here is to reach level 300. But to make things faster, if you want, you can visit the prison. And at level 250, you can start defeating these mini bosses. First is the Swan. Next is the Warden. And after that, the Chief Warden. So it really depends to you guys. It's just that it's far away, so I really don't like it. So I suggest you stay with the gladiators and reach level 300. Stat check before we proceed to our next island. We have 250 melee in defense, 400 blocks foot. Off to our next island, the Magma Village. Here we're gonna start with the military soldiers. So you need to defeat 9, right? My technique here is to lure 5 at a time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Guys, you can make the meet here in the bridge. Defeat them. Do it twice to level up, okay? Okay, so the goal here is to reach level 330. There you go. And after that, you can start defeating the military spies. So this is easier, but guys, they have Buso Haki. So whatever level you'll reach, they can still hit you. But guys, I think this set of mobs has a lower HP comparing to the military soldiers. So they're easy to defeat. Anyway, our goal level here is to reach level 375. But at 350, you can start defeating the Magma Admiral. So you just need to dodge this skill, that one, and everything will be fine, guys. Defeat him. There you go. Again, goal here is 375 before we can move on to our next island, the underwater city. But before that, there you go. Stat check. We have 326 melee defense, 479 blocks fruits. Okay, now heading to the underwater city. There you go. It's located here. There you go. So here we're going to start with the fishman warriors you need to lure four at a time do it twice defeat eight to finish a quest and level up guys we're gonna level up here with the fishman warriors until we reach level 450 but to make things faster we're gonna defeat the boss here the fishman lord at 425 so again upon defeating him it's kind of easy to be honest just use your skills dodge to the side after that see that you need to dodge that and after that, everything will be easy. There you go. Try to cycle your skills better. To avoid him from regenerating its HP. There you go. After you dodge, use your skills to defeat it. Okay? Okay, now, 
At 4.50, you can go back to Skylands. Go up here to start defeating the God's Guards. So you need to defeat seven. So there are six in this area. So lure them all, defeat them. Six again at a time. So after that, just wait for one to spawn and defeat it to finish one quest and level up. The goal here is to reach level 525. But before that, check this out. Our last skill, the Thunder Bomb. Looks like Energy Ball of Son Goku, right? If you watch Dragon Ball Z. There you go. Again, goal here is to reach level 525. And after that, you can proceed to the upper yard. Oh, I almost forgot Whisper. You can start defeating him at 500. Just dodge its cannon, that one, and everything will be fine. Okay? He's easy to defeat. By the way, we're gonna skip the Shandas here and go straight to the Royal Squad. Okay? Okay, I hope that's clear. Again, at 525, we're gonna start with the Royal Squad. There you go. You need to defeat 8, right? So lure 5 at a time, defeat them, and after that, wait for them to spawn again if you want, defeat 5. Again, you only need 8. And the goal here is to reach level 575. And when you reach that, you can start defeating the boss here, Thunder God. So this is Rumble Fruit versus Rumble Fruit. So use all your skills. You just need to dodge this skill, uh, that one, and everything will be fine. Again, the goal in this island is to reach level 625. After defeating him, you can go back to the royal squads or go for the royal guards. But again, guys, every time you have a chance to defeat the thunder god, go for it. Okay, again, 625, stat check, 500 melee defense, blocks fruits, 875. So when you reach level 625, you can now proceed to our final grinding island, which is the Fountain City. Guys, let's make this fast. We're gonna focus with the Galley Pirates. Just lure 4. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Defeat them. Do it twice to level up. Okay, we're gonna focus in this mob. And when you reach level 675, you can start grinding the Cyborg. So again, just 2 mobs. Every time you have a chance, to defeat the cyborg, go for it, okay? Again, cyborg. Just keep your distance and dodge that gun or his skill because you might get burst. This one, where is that skill? There you go, that one. So after dodging, use your skills to defeat him. There you go. So the goal here again is level 700 because when you reach that level, let's defeat him first. Dodging him and skill. Okay, so let's say you've defeated him. You will unlock a quest, and that quest will ask you to go to the prison. Guys, remember the prison where Swan is? Yes. We're gonna head there and talk to the military detective. He will ask you to go to the frozen village. Here it is. Use the key that he gave you, open the door, and defeat Ice Admiral. So, Gamer Nom, is he easy to defeat? Guys, exactly. I mean, yes, he's easy to defeat. After that, go back to the prison, talk to the military detective. He will then send you to the middle town, ask you to go there, talk to the experienced pirate. And that's it, guys. You can now go to the second sea. And how's that? Gamer Nom, was it easy? I think kinda, yes, because it's a Logia fruit. Guys, requests, I've been seeing gravity fruit, right? But here you go, guys. Don't forget the Twitter, okay? You just follow. Our account and hopefully you've enjoyed this video again to all the viewers subscribers supporters i appreciate you all this is gamer nom gamer nom out